guys, Booligan here with Airsoft Retreat, BooliganAirsoft.com and Airsoft Insider Magazine. Next up in our BFC E-Series buildup, we are taking a look at the Strike Industries Cobra Series Trigger Guard. This kit comes with two trigger guards, however, one of them is already installed on my AAC Honey Badger inspired build, which you can watch a video of on my channel. Now, the uh, Cobra Series Trigger Guards are designed for a couple of key things. One, to give you a little bit more room in the trigger well, make it a little easier to use with your use or to use your gun if you're wearing gloves. And also they have these nice little notches here for either right-handed users, left-handed users, or ambidextrous shooters. The kit include two separate trigger guards and all mounting hardware. So you're basically set up for two guns. Um, the first kit includes the classic Cobra Guard, which does not have these little wings on the side, as well as the one for the, the righty, the right-handed model with one on the right. The kit we are using has the left-handed model and the ambidextrous, um, which is what we will be installing on the BFC E series. So let's go ahead, get it installed, take a look. All right, now we can go ahead and um, install the uh, Strike Industries Cobra Trigger Guard, except we're going to be using the ambidextrous model. Uh, the first step is to take out the roll pin, which I used a punch and a hammer. It required a fair bit of uh, motivation to get out because it was in there really tight. Um, just be careful so you don't damage the ears on the receiver. As you can see with the pin out, this will swivel free. Use a small tool, push this in. This is on a spring and just kind of slide it the rest of the way out. Here's the old one, don't need that anymore. Here's the new one, which we can go ahead and place in the gun loosely for now. Um, these ones do not pivot, so basically you want to get it in there you know, right the first time. Um, instead of using a spring, it is held in the front using the included hex screw. You want to go ahead and tighten up until the screw is flush with the receiver. Tighten that up to about there. Okay. Now we can go ahead and install the rear pin. I uh, the kit includes a couple of roll pins to make it a little bit easier. I have gone ahead and I've compressed the roll pin slightly, so that it should go in a little bit easier. Um, just want to go ahead and use a tool to push that, push this in. There's a couple ways to do it. You don't really want to hammer it in there. I like to do it this way, even though you do risk damaging your receiver slightly. But just if you use a little bit of care, it'll kind of go right in there. Kind of just a smidge. And there we go. That little guy's not coming out. And your new trigger guard is installed. As you can see, you've got a little bit more room and you've got these nice little wings to rest your finger when you're not uh, pulling the trigger. So there you go. Pretty easy installation. Just takes a couple minutes and you're good to go. As you can see, pretty easy installation and for only 15 bucks adds a unique look and does add some nice functionality to your Airsoft replica. Many thanks to Jag Precision for their continued support of this buildup. And of course, keep watching till the end of this and we will uh, see how this project turns out. Thanks for watching.